And calls keep coming in too. Polk County Fire now responding to up to 400 calls a day. That is up from the typical 280. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo spoke to frontline workers in the middle of the surge. They're asking the community to only go to the hospital in a life threatening situation. As sirens blare, nurses and doctors race to treat patients. The balance of running an emergency department is making sure you're taking care of the people who are at most risk for having a bad outcome. The chief medical officer of Lakeland Regional Health, Dr. Timothy Regan, says the ER is more active than usual. The majority of the patients coming in are there for COVID-19. We're seeing a lot of people who are who are scared and who are sick and, and didn't think that they would get sick. Nearly 400 patients are positive with COVID. That's more than double their highest patient volume from January of this year. The influx is making wait times longer. We typically have a pretty efficient emergency department. We have have seen longer waits than what we're used to, um, but I think that's been the same across the board. And ambulances are having to wait outside. I've called ahead to emergency rooms to see, you know, where do we stand if we have to send a patient to you? And a lot of them are telling us, do not. We are, we have ambulances out of the bay. In home care nurse Rebecca Guerin says not everyone in the ER has an emergency. They get a cough, congested, and it could just be a normal cold but they're wanting that confirmation that it's not COVID. The Florida Hospital Association says three out of four Florida hospitals could expect critical staff shortages in the next seven days. You don't staff hospitals in anticipation of a surge or a prolonged surge. We, we are getting bit busy. We are having to get creative, but at the same time, um, we're, we have not hit the panic button yet.